uh, joined by Laura Wolfart, Rubina Tiachi, and Ruchi Venkatesh of the victorious Barmy Army, convincing win for you today. I mean, we, Ruby, we've got to come to you first. What a performance! The first fifer of FBI 23, and just a stunning performance. What did that mean for you to be able to do that today? Uh, definitely it means a lot to me because uh, everyone is walking, uh, watching backside home so we are here to perform and we are here to like uh, people should know that cricket is there in Nepal for the women's as well so we are here to perform and definitely this, this means a lot to me. And you really did perform today, what, how, what was it you were doing today that just made you feel so good and pick up all those wickets? I don't know. <laughs> I was just uh, bowling the right areas. Uh, the captain has set, set up the field for me and every uh, player was coming and talking to me. So that was making me easy that way to bowl and how to bowl according to the field setup. So it was quite easy. Just hit the good areas and just read the wicket and bowl the ball. You make it sound so simple and it definitely isn't. And Laura, if we come to you, um, what's it like to be part of this Barmy Army team again and be able to put out performances like that as we look towards the semi-finals? Yeah, it's been a really good season so far. Um, obviously being in the same team as last year has been awesome to, to see everyone and see how everyone's improved and what they've worked on over the last year has been really cool to see. Um, and yeah, I think this, this season we've had different people stepping up at different times. I think every single person on the field has performed in one game or another. So it's really been a team performance to get into the semis. So I'm very excited. And how are you feeling out there as part of the Barmy team? How's the batting feeling? Oh, it's felt better, but yeah, I think I'm just lacking a bit of rhythm. But hopefully today um, gives me a bit of momentum into the semi. Exactly. And Richie, big performance for you today. How are you feeling at the moment and as part of this Barmy Army team as you march on into the semi-finals? I'm really happy for the team. When you play cricket, the team comes first. So their success is more important. I'm really happy for Rubina today. Very happy. Um, and we've just had Tash Parent in the previous press conference. Obviously, you picked up her wicket today. How good did that feel? I felt really good because I don't like people hitting me for sixes. So that was good revenge. Right, OK. Um, and how have you found that fair break has helped your game from last year to this year? And what's it been like coming back to join the Barmy Army? Uh, it's been amazing. What it's done for us as associate cricketers, um, it's really helped us develop our game, put us in the big situations, in the pressure situations, how to handle these situations so that we can go back to our home country and perform for them. Yeah, and you certainly all are doing it. You're getting to perform at your home country in Hong Kong. What's that been like for you? I, I love it. It's just, it feels amazing performing in front of my parents, some of my students, the divas are in the crowd, and also all the Hong Kong people. I hope they can pick up a cricket bat after this. I think the same can be said, Rubina, you're saying the same for those back in Nepal. They want, we want them to watch you and be inspired. What impact has Fairbreak had on cricket back in Nepal? Um, it has a massive impact because, as I said, 90% people are following us. Only two of us are here, but they are watching us, they are messaging us, they are congratulating us, and they are waiting for us to perform. So uh, definitely uh, people watching us is a great thing, and we are trying to find out what we can do more. Um, and last one for you, Laura, have you found that the standard has improved even more from last year and what kind of differences are you seeing from the second edition of Fairbreak to the first? Yeah, uh, I definitely think it has. Um, I think a big difference, I think the, the conditions haven't been as batting friendly, but we've still seen some decent scores being put up. Um, like today, we put up 170 on a, on a wicket that had a little bit in it early on. So, yeah, I think just the, the ability for the batters to, to rotate strike and, and hit some big sixes that, like we've seen as well has been really cool. So, yeah, heading in the right direction. And we had Sune in the other day. She was saying in South Africa, you're still fighting the good fight for the professionalism of women's cricket. And you've sort of witnessed all of that. What's it like to be able to see these associate nations going through the same kind of process and coming up that ladder the same way South Africa have? Yeah, I think it's it's great to get a bit of perspective. Um, sometimes I guess it feels like we still have such a big mountain to climb, but but it's great to see that, that other women have sort of the same struggles that we have. Um, so yeah, it's nice to, to chat to different people from different countries and see how they go about things and just what they're doing to try and change things for their, their women's cricket. And can you give me one sentence to sum up Rubina's performance today? 
Oh, amazing. <laughs> that wasn't a sentence, but really good. <laughs> joined by Tash Baron and Joanna Aris of the Sapphires. Um, not your day-to-day -day Sapphires, but if we come to you first, Joanna, four wickets and you were on a hat-trick. Yesterday you said America are going to take fair break by storm, and then you came out 24 hours later and proved exactly your own point. Yeah, um, it was a team effort. Everyone put in their work to help me get that wicket, and they all supported me throughout. They've been supporting me since I got here. It's been a lovely experience. And Tash, we know you so well with the ball, but you've been having an absolute stormer with the bat. How much are you enjoying batting on this, this Sapphire team? Yeah, well, I've had to put in a few performances in with the bat because I've not bowled too well. But um, yeah, no, it's just been good to get some time in the middle for me. I've not had that, obviously, playing for England for a long time and got much better batters ahead of me there. So yeah, I've worked hard this winter and it's just want to help the team in any way that I can. Um, and it's been a difficult campaign for the Sapphires. Um, what's the mood been like around camp and how have you sort of built after some of those losses? Especially you had that amazing seven over game win. <laughs> What was it like after that and then having to rebuild again? Yeah, obviously disappointed not to get into the semis, but the camps, the mood in the camp's been great, to be honest. I think everyone knows there's greater reasons for being here and obviously we want to win the cricket as well. But um, yeah, the mood in the camp's been great. We gel really well as a team. Last year we got on well and then we've had some really good new recruits this year and it's I think it's been brilliant. It's a shame about the performances on the pitch. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. They'll answer like any question we ask. So anything we like ask, they'll answer. And it'll be the most random questions too, like about anything. And what's been the best thing about your experience with Fairbreak so far? Everyone's been extremely supportive and welcoming. So that helped me like settle in and like be able to perform my best. Um, and Tash, are we going to see you further up orders for the rest of the English summer then? <laughs> Yeah, get me up the order. No, well, I'm going to try and um, get some good time in the middle for the Stars when I get back. So start the regional season in uh, in England and then, yeah, just keep trying to put in performances and then just go from there. Not looking too far ahead, just try and get some games under my belt. And with the bowling, how are you feeling post-injury now? Yeah, um, I'm, it's just I'm glad to be back out there. I'm not feeling in the best rhythm, but I think I've not played... Um, too many games in the last two years, really. So, um, yeah, just good to be out there and hopefully game by game I'll get a bit more rhythm and get a bit more confidence and, yeah, just try and help wh whatever team that I'm playing for. Um, and you've been part of various franchises, leagues, 100, the Great Mahalo, Flint, main for England. What's it like to be able to play in fair break and what makes it different for you? Yeah, it's brilliant. When I got asked back here, I didn't even have to think about it. I think, for me, the cricket's been great, but actually learning about different cultures. I learned so much last year. I was probably a bit ignorant to quite a lot of different cultures. Um, and yeah, just learning about uh, what the girls have like in their own countries, facilities wise and training wise, but also, you know, what their lives are like as well. So yeah, for me, it's, it's a great learning experience sort of outside of the cricket as well as on the pitch. And Jafana, um, a final one for you. What's the biggest thing you're gonna take away from this tournament? And especially as we look into that fifth, sixth playoff, when you can um, another four first? Another four, uh, maybe a fiver this time. <laughs> um, I can do it. I just have to believe in myself and trust my process. And I think that's the biggest thing I can take away from this. And Tash, coming to the Big Six playoff, we're going to see you opening with the bat? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> no, it's just great to give the associate girls an opportunity and they're stepping up to the plate like Giovanna did today. So they're showing that they can do it as well as us, almost sometimes showing us up as well. Um, so now I'll see what the coach wants to do and um, just do whatever the team needs on the day. But hopefully we can really finish with a, with a good win on Friday, I think it is.